What's up, guys? Mr. Gims back again uh, for the 5.50 PTB patch notes. There's a lot to digest here and maybe some exciting things as well as from what I can see so far. So um, you guys know a lot about what we already spoke about with, you know, part one, part two. Um, there's a couple of little other things here that I've seen. Well, one thing so far that sticks out, but let's get into it, guys. So this is the patch notes for the PTB that's going live in about an hour. Okay. Due to an increase, so uh, the important stuff, due to an increase in file compression, players who download the PTB will have to download almost the entire game. Uh, then re-downloading the entire game when switching back to the regular version. Thankfully, this means the PTB build is 20 gigabytes smaller than usual. So ultimately, that's a good thing. Um, we, we've already gone over this before, but patch notes will be linked in the description for you if you need to know more. Features, fix some specific vulnerabilities that could abuse by cheaters. That's kind of cool. So that's one of the little new things that I've noticed. So I don't know exactly know what's going on. They haven't given any parameters. <laughs> they just said they're looking into stuff. <laughs> hit feedback has been adjusted to reduce the frequency of visual feedback in the case of a rejected hit, especially in instances of dead hard. You're talking about mostly dead hard there, for sure. Uh, dev note, this won't eliminate all instances of VFX SFX feedback when landing a rejected hit, but it should reduce it in most cases. Interesting. When the player has had a decent connection to the server. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, new feature, interactive toggle. Yeah, so now they're giving you the option between toggling between actions, so doing a gen, that sort of thing, healing, running, I think. Yeah. Um, you can toggle this as well. You can have it automatic or you can have it as, you know, just normal holding down left mouse trigger or whatever. Yeah, you, you can pick yourself, which is cool. So I'll be testing this out today. Uh, beta features. A new ta uh, tab is available for the beta menu. New features will appear here so that we can gain feedback from all players on all platforms. Yeah, this is just for fine tuning smaller things. Um, I think the wiggle thing is being added to this as well. This is a really good thing. It's good for quality of life and it's good for testing. So that's pretty cool. Some killers receive some add-on, um, some add-on. So some killers received add-on passes. You guys know how I feel about this. I talked on stream about this yesterday. Notable mentions would be, you know, the clown's uh, pinky finger. Uh, now reduces the bottle count by two. Um, you know, it was a pretty bullshit add-on anyway. Um, I don't understand why we're looking at nerfing the clown right now, but that's the direction we've gone, so whatever. Uh, and Toy Sword, I believe, was nerfed. Um, like, again, no idea why we're nerfing the twins, but whatever. Moving on to Nemesis, he's also received a pretty much a, a flat nerf um, with add-ons as concerned. Uh, where is it? Malachi's Eye. Decreased the zombie movement speed bonus to 35%, and now it's uh, it was 50 yeah, I have no idea why they nerfed that. Um, that was very silly. Uh, it wasn't the best add-on at all. Um, it was good in situations, you know what I mean? It wasn't the best add-on. I don't know why we're just attacking Nemesis right now. Whatever. But this one's probably the big standout. New Cenobite or Pinhead's voice over lines have been added. New Cenobite voice lines have been added. So I'm really interested to hear how that is. Pretty cool. Survivor perks. You guys know how I feel about these. Um, boil over is going to be ridiculous, I feel. Um, that's about it. <laughs> I think boil over is getting a, a pretty good buff. You guys can see the parameters on screen. I've already talked about it on stream. Uh, killer perks. Gearhead, I think, is going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to trying that. I think that's a pretty good buff. Um, yeah. Yeah, talked about it on stream. You guys know it's in part one and part two. The nurse. I haven't read this. Several issues affected the nurse's power that require a large part of the code supporting her. Okay. Especially the networking to be redone, which is what we have did in this release. This allowed us to fix the following issues. Holy shit. They fixed a lot with her. Fixed an issue that rarely causes the nurse not to be able to trigger a blink. Fixed an issue that may cause... A blink started right when the charge is... Wow! Fix an issue that caused the nurse's vault to be slower than intended. You shouldn't be vaulting with the nurse, but whatever. Fix an issue that caused the nurse to go into fatigue after the stun when stunned during a chain blink. Yeah, 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 true. So they've fixed a bunch of issues with the nurse. It's on screen. You guys can read it in your own time. Pause the video, whatever you need to do. I'm just going to be testing this all in an hour. That sounds great. Pretty happy. If she feels much... I hope she feels better. 
Um, that's a that's a big plus by my book. That's really cool. It's good that they're like trying to like touch up on her now. That's cool. I like it. <clears throat> An assortment. An assortment of bug issues. Uh, bug fixes, sorry. Um, and th they've been really piling these on. Like the, the bug fixes in the last couple of last couple of mid chapters has been massive. Um, I can't see anything that stands out right now. Um, there's a lot here. But, you know, pause the video if you need to. Um, pretty happy with the fact that they're still doing bug fixes by the shit tons, by the way. Known issues. The Tricksters, yeah, so this is what's going to be different about PTB. The Trickster has been disabled for this PTB due to a bug, will be fixed on release. Yeah, that's fine. There's nothing new with the Trickster, so there's no point testing him anyway. The Haddonfield map and Strode Reality uh, Realty key offering has been disabled. I'm not going to whinge about that. Uh, when using the Perk Spice in the Shadows, the killer can hear loud noises. Uh, okay, fine. Fine. And that's it. That's pretty much it, guys. Nothing new. There's no part three with this PTV or the patch notes. Um, and I'm not disappointed about that. I mean, it is what it is. Um, hopefully, it's a good, smooth PTV, and hopefully, we can test all this today. I'm looking forward to it in a way. Um, and I hope you guys are too. But the <laughs> Cenobite voice lines. <laughs> that's, um, that's pretty cool.